What's up, guys? It is Brent back here. Pull my mic down. Uh, and we are going to get back to some more Slay the Spire modded. Actually, we're playing update logo text, but why should anything say differently? Uh, actually, we're playing Slay the Spire. Uh, I would normally say Downfall, but I've changed around the mods a little bit just to have something fresh. We played the uh, slime boss last time, did a bit of a growth run, but I was waiting to record tonight. Uh, I was picking up the house, laundry was going, it was a little loud, couldn't record during that time. So I decided to look at the um, mods for the game, thinking about what I was going to do, what I was playing tonight. Uh, almost skipped, didn't. Uh, instead, powered through, got to this point, had some uh, Mountain Dew here, get some energy. It's late, but who cares? It's slowly the spire time. Uh, so first note, let's go over the mods. I took some out and added a... Uh, well, technically two new ones. Uh, I took out the Justice Bottle mod for right now. I don't know if it actually added to the pool um, of boss relics we could get because I had not seen it. I think you always have to manually add it. Um, as such, I thought for right now, just take it out, a couple less mods. I also wasn't sure if this would crash or not when I uploaded it, or when, not when I uploaded, when I ran it. Um, words are hard tonight. Um, so I did take that one out. I took out the uh, Energized Spire Relics, uh, and I added two new ones. I added Act Like It, which is a framework one, uh, by Raz, Razish, Ra Razish, I think, that's how you say that. Um, and it's the framework for creating Act, because it is required for Runa. Um, this was like in the one of the most popular ones for the last six months, adds new acts. Uh, based on Library of Runa, which I don't know what that is. I'm assuming maybe it's a show or anime of some sort. Um, but I really like the art style that it came with. Um, it apparently is compatible with Downfall. I haven't tried it, but I did um, load it up and you can run it um, backwards. Uh, there's no new characters. However, if you run the normal way, which we are going to, with the Ironclad here, um, you get a couple different options. So we are uh, Choose Your Destiny, you find yourself in darkness. In your hand is an elaborate invitation to pursue wealth and knowledge, which both are good, um, beyond your wildest dreams. We're going to accept the invitation. Doing so, you get an elaborate snap. Uh, I think this is Isha. Uh, the cycle of death and rebirth continues. Uh, you got this neat, like very nice, interesting background here, um, our ironclad boy. And this dapper man with some blue hair. Um, I'm just going to ooh, encounter a random event. I, I'm kind of interested. First chest is empty. Choose an ego card to ha to obtain. I don't know what that is. Gotta try it. Um, no, so chest gone. Ego cards. I don't know. So we are going to be learning this as we go. I'm assuming an ego card is a more powerful card um, because no first chest is pretty bad. Apply six poison. If this card is exhausted, double all enemies poisoned, exhausted two. So you could get six, and then twelve, and then double it to twenty-four. Not bad, right? Because exhausted after a certain number of uses. So exhaust after the second. Okay, exhaust up to one card um, at the start of your turn. Gain energy equal to the cost of the exhausted card. Ooh, homing instinct. I like that. I like that a lot. And then Aspiration, gain three strength, lose half of your current HP at the end of combat, heal the HP lost by this card. Four strength. Uh, I'm going, I'm feeling one of these two. Um, what is going to be better for the Ironclad? Is it going to be Poison? It's a little bit slow, um, but it's kind of interesting. I like the effect. What's it double to? Does it get higher exhaust? No, it goes to eight Poison. So 16 and then 32. Okay. And then homing instinct's good, but I'm trying to think the best case is we like exhaust something like bash. But is that really like if the fight goes long, are we going to screw ourselves by converting cards into energy? But the ironclad also has effects for exhausting cards. I think I'll take the homing instinct. I think it'll find I'll find it pretty useful. Alright, let's head out here. Early shop. I did also take off the, um, just for while we're trying Runica, or Runa. I'm going to say that wrong probably a couple times. Um, I took off the collective gold. 
because they might end up breaking the immersion. Uh, while it is uh, fun for just casual runs, since we're trying the new mod, I figured um, we'd take it off for a little bit. All right, I think right here, starting with um, two elite, one elite pass, two elite pass. The right is looking a little better. More question mark. Well, actually the left. Oh, and there's a new boss. That's the, why we are mainly doing this path or this, um, the normal way instead of the downfall way. Um, I want to see the new bosses. So we're going to go right here. Bunch of rest, shop, elite, elite. And then what we'll do is we'll avoid. Well, no, we'll look at the first. No, we'll avoid the first shop. We'll go this way straight through. Oh, look at this art style. This like painterly look. Fragment of the universe. You sound really intimidating. All right, we're going to go with the two um, defense and the strike here. So everyone's good, doing good. It is a nice little Thursday. End of the week is coming up right here. You hit me pretty hard. Um, let's go with defense. Um, so I hope everyone's excited. Maybe has a fun weekend planned. We're going to have some friends over, so... That is always kind of exciting. Um, don't really want to take. Go ahead and do this. We're going to exhaust you. Uh, oh, wait. I've read Homing Instinct wrong. I need to read that again. Exhausted one card at the start. Okay. So we'll gain one energy every turn because we exhausted one energy card. So we need a high cost card to exhaust for that. I thought it was every turn um, gain one energy. Exhaust a card and gain an energy. I read it wrong. Uh, lose two HP, gain five blocks, draw a card. I don't really want to do that yet. Keep your enlightenment. That is super creepy sounding, but I think we got them here. We do. I'm gold, fear, and okay. So these are the normal ironclad cards. Uh, Clash is always pretty fun. If this cost is exhausted, increase its damage time and place it back in your hand. There's our. Uh, there's our win condition. Ooh, empty chest here, but it's gonna be a mimic. Hello, I could tell. I could feel it. Go with the exhaust of the basic strike. Oh, I, I was supposed to exhaust the strike from hell, actually. Because we would have got it back, and then... Also, my dog came down the stairs like a madman. Uh, do two of these. I guess we'll just go ahead and do this and just continue for now. But like I was saying, I hope everyone is going to have a good, or is having a good week and going to have a fun weekend. Um, also, when I was looking at different things to get for the, um, for mods, I also looked and RimWorld has a new expansion uh, or DLC to be exact. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to pick it up and see... Um, what it has to offer because it's looked pretty good um looks like you can do some more like factioning kind of deals um you can do oh i don't have any oh. um you could do more like setting up it's called ide ideology um it comes with a 1.3 update and it seems to be um where you could create like your own religion you can set up a bunch of different um uh, like rules at the start of the game to affect how it continues forward and how your colony starts looks interesting um, I don't know if I'm gonna get it yet because um, it's brand new but it seems like something that'd be fun uh, I'd love to know what you guys think on that uh, before I just pull the trigger and get it um, week T the first two colors cards you play each turn cost one less uh, not very good flash now at the start turn cost one uh, energy less turn uh, I think I'd rather go for a close line Good fodder for a couple different things. Ooh, Forsaken Murderer. Again, love this art style. Um, and I'm actually going to do a homing instinct on the clothesline. And we'll get two additional energy each turn. Lots of setup here, but that, yeah, we have five energy now. So we can really just lay into people. Oh, and he does less damage for each hit we do on him. Interesting, because yeah, he has uh, fear. Whenever an whenever you play an attack, this creature loses one strength. Interesting. So if I do, do oh, we just kill him. 
I like that though. I like the artwork here. Um, headbutt, anger, exhaust a card at random. True grit's gonna be good. We need to upgrade it though to make it really powerful. Uh, we have butterflies. Very cute. Um, pfft, a ton of damage though. Stuff card random doesn't really matter. Get those two down. Or hit this one once. Paralysis. This turn, uh, your next tag deals 50% less damage. Not fun. Uh, go ahead and exhaust that. Play the block. We could have done the strike from hell, but um, I think the crew grid's gonna be better for that. Um, I want to kill you. We are still. Oh, this stacks. This turn to 100% less damage. How am I supposed to get through all this? <laughs> Oh, oh, the paralysis wore off when we dealt damage. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that, so I guess you have to hit through it once. Like this one does four, and then the paralysis. Okay, it didn't explain it like that. So the first attack you do is affected by paralysis. The next one um, is worn off. Uh, true great here. Not get the strike. That will continue through. That would have ended it, but. We are playing a little loose with our HP, so we need to kind of keep that in mind. We're down to 30, 37 here. Key block. Uh, deal one damage two times applied. Decrepit. Uh, fighters affected by decrepit. Suffer one, one extra damage from attacks for each stack. Increased by one each turn. Exhaust the two, so put three on there. Eh. I think I'd rather have a shrug. That way we can get rid of some defends when we go to remove cards. Who are you? Uh, today's shy luck. <laughs> Whenever you play three cards, this creature changes its intent. Okay, so we want to kind of do that. One, two, three. Oh, and they turn happy. Okay, that's so expression is their ability. I mean, they're happy, but they are wearing literally a uh, mask made out of a face. So... Say what you will. We got the strike from hell on that one. Very nice. And then if we homing instinct the strike, we get it again. Um, and I don't really want to take that much damage. So I'm going to play the strike person. And I'm going to... Uh, for each... For each turn of coming now. Let's go do an emulate here. And yeah, he's, he's happy now. So he gains... Either he'll gain strength... If we play three cards, he'll gain three more strength, or he will um, attack us for some indeterminate amount of damage, which is also not that great. Um, this is 31, you're dead anyway. We really needed that to start gaining some health back. Um, offering here, very good, uh, unless we exhausted by accident. Uh, uh, so there's two elites here, so this is a, yeah, a three elite path. It is heavy on the fights. Also, we have Flesh Children, which, gift, gift. So we have Latia, and we have Gift Wrapped Friend. And then the gift, I guess, is this goes to our hand and whatever we're doing. Uh, unplayable, when retained, reduce this card's cost by one. Um, when this card's cost becomes zero, take 10 damage and exhaust this card. This card cannot be modified by external effects. Okay, I don't know exactly how that works. Is it when we... Uh, in three turns, we'll explode dealing 10 damage to you and adding a gift to your hand. On death, spawn a wee witch's friend. Okay, this is uh, a lot to take in here. A lot of damage. Let's draw a card first. Defend. Okay. Um, I am going to close line the main person. She has... Being lonely is sad. Receive 100% more damage from attacks if there are no other enemies alive. Okay. Got it. Instead of mine. Gifts are hitting me. I really need to kill them this turn. Oh, and she just adds a gift to your hand. Gross. Um, offering here. Uh, okay. Homing instinct. And because Let's just exhaust this. For two. Oh, for three. So that's going to help a lot. Um, then I want to... 
Uh, so 14, 17 coming in. I need the block. The fin's gone. Okay. Uh, bash this man here, I think. Still gonna get pummeled, but we should be ahead of this now. Okay. Uh, I want to play the clothesline for 18. My doggo is coming down the stairs like a bat again. Oh, there's the Wee Witch's friend now. Um, I can't do enough damage, I don't think. No, I can do 12, 12. If I do this, I don't think I want another one of those guys. So strike them twice. And then what I'm going to do is True Grit here. Got the gift, which I wanted to. And then I want to continue hitting these spiders. We need to kill everything. I receive unblocked damage from this creature. Exhaust all gifts in your hand. Okay. I want to kill these things first. So now she's going to take more damage from me, from me just existing. Because she takes more damage if there's no one here. Uh, shrug. I got the bash. Uh, retain. Exhaust. If I play it. We have enough energy. We should be playing these now. Oh, I can't. Unplayable. Why does it have a cost then? I guess that's how many turns till it exhausts itself. All right, we want to continue to hit her then. Um, play the thing. I think we're on the upside of this because we should be able to exhaust one of these gifts with the true grit. Oh, she's just dead. That wasn't terrible. We did take a lot of damage, but we survived. Uh, Rampage now. Shockwave's good. I think I'll take one copy. It's also another expensive card I can add to our repertoire to be exhausted. All right, we have a Porcubus here. 13 damage to start off with is pretty rough. Uh, and they don't have any like weird strategic advantages or disadvantages. I just threw my phone on the floor. Um, I don't think clothesline is the right move. And I think it's double defending and then just strike from hell here. And I assume unbearable pleasure. Okay. Um, homing instinct will be great here. I'm going to homing instinct the bash away, I think. Shockwave is going to probably be better overall. Also, at the start of your turn, gain an injury, turn and take three damage. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. I kind of like that, but at the same time, uh, I don't want to die here because we're at 12. We need to kill them very soon, if possible. Offering, ow, down to six. Um, blocked. Oh, they have one thorns now. I need to be able to play defend. We're going to, though. Then defend, defend, screw grit, and then strike them out. And they're dead. Okay. We need to be able to rest soon. Another clothesline seems pretty nice. I'm okay with that. Uh, okay, we have... Left shoe and right shoe. I like this art, but it is kind of trippy. Um, this looks like a little shoe house. Um, they are doing 50. This mod also is very uh, damage intensive. Like they are beating me up. Okay. Take some more damage here. I kind of needed to get more block there was actually the goal. Eight, they're doing 15. Uh, I think I can survive if I do this. Yeah. Yes, we are surviving by one. But we have bleed. Whenever this creature attacks his turn, whenever this creature attacks, take one damage. So we're dead, right? So I can do a defend, and then if I defend again, is it going to hit my defense or is it going to hit me? It hit my block. So they're doing 11. I have two. I know that's parlor so uh i needed to play another defend and i did so we are dead conquered man a little bit brutal here we'll do another one still learning it i don't know if it was the leads that really got me oh and we're in downfall now um or just the fact that i played a little bit too aggressively um to start off with there i accept the invitation because i was spending a lot of energy on my ego card uh, all gold. I want to see more of these cards. They're very interesting. Nine damage, double the next debuff you apply. That's very cool. All these loose restraints. If you have no card in your hand, that effect is doubled. Okay. 
Enemy's HP is below 30%. Kill it. Enemies lose 11 HP. Enemy. So it's either 14 damage for one. Oh, it has ethereal. All the modifiers on the top. This one has exhaust. Okay. This one's also very nice. But I need a very small deck to do this. But I feel like that could really mess up some enemies. Because negative six strength would be ridiculous. I'm going to try this. I don't know the build we're playing yet, but we'll try it. Uh, drops. Elite. Go here. Another rest. More. Oh, and a bonfire up here. I kind of I kind of like that. Then we're going to go this way. So early shop here, but we have no gold. And another one of you bugs. Get out of here. Fragment of the universe is what you start off with. Uh, yes. I have no, I will never get no cards in hand here. Might as well use it. Because that is static, so it'll always be negative two. Spooky noise, don't like it. Um, we're fine on defense this turn. No reason to play the enlightenment. I hate that if you full block, they still give you one. Kind of stinks. Uh, we will enlighten them in here. And that'll be it. Incentivizing me to play it. Uh, three strikes and we do it. And we do so. Actually, it's just two. I forgot they were so vulnerable. Ooh, Pummel is a nice card. Thundercop's also really good. Uh, I think I'll go Pummel. See if we can get some strength going. Hello, shopkeep. Oh, I can fight you. Don't want to do that. Okay, these are mixed in with the... So the Ego cards are mixed in with the Shop Pool. Uh, deal 8 damage to all enemies. Upgrade this card permanently. can be upgraded 5 times. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's awesome. That's really cool, actually. Um, everything else is pretty normal here. And we have seen Red Eye. Alright. Ooh, okay. Uh, I cannot say that. Dear... Nope, now I'm going to try it. Um, you see a cloak figure shrouded in darkness. Bloody bodies litter the ground around the figure, and remnants of a gruesome massacre. The devil proposed a childish contract to me. My last bullet would puncture the head of my beloved. But I have swindled the devil for you, see, I have already killed all the people I love. The figure laughed, and you could tell it had already gone mad with power. How sh how about it, stranger? Would you like to partake of this contract? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, contract of mine as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, so the seventh bullet. Gain two strength at the start of combat. Whenever you play seven attacks, take three damage. Sure. I mean, sounds awesome. And I love the background and the art for that. Very nice. Use one of ten upgraded cards. That's your deck. Uh, patron, librarian of history. Hello there. I'm like Mal Malkuth, the patron library in charge of the floors of history. Since I'm in charge of this floor, I sort all sort through all the books that are related to history. Is there anything I can help you with? Upgrade cards. Ooh, and there's some interesting ones in here too. I've never seen this one. Uh, four damage reduce the cost of an attack in your hand to zero this turn. Leading strike. I like that. Um. Piercing, not quite what I want. Drugs, still very good. Sword Bramoring lends to the strength gaining kind of build. Um, uh, Starting up with an attacking head against piercing. I, it has to be a big damage card, which we don't have. Body Slam is always fun, but I don't think what we're kind of going for. Um, I think I'll go Sword Bramoring. Continue with like the strength gain kind of ideology here. Forsaken murder. We've seen you. We know how you kind of work. We just want to continuously poke you, and you shouldn't deal too much damage. Oh, it's oh they're just dead. Um, but I was doing it wrong. It's per attack play. So gotta keep that in mind. In the future, uh, I don't want any of these. Thought about twin strike. Not necessary. Ooh, a new elite here. Uh, Al Alrin. Alrin. Not sure. Um, they have. Winter Inception. The first type you play each turn gains Laurel Reef. 50% damage with attacks without Laurel Reef. 
Okay, so the f and she has regeneration and is dealing 12 damage. Um, so we want to attack her. Does that attack uh, gain it? Oh, it does gain it. So we have to like cycle through all of our attacks um, so they can deal more damage next time. Uh, okay, and she hits pretty hard. And she has regeneration. I'll take a little bit less this turn. I'd rather get back to my other cards. Magnificent in. I like her uh, effect too. It's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna do that. Take three from our thingamajig, but she is vulnerable for next turn. Hopefully we'll get sword boomerang back. It's kind of what I'm... Yep, that's what I was hedging. Okay, and she didn't get anything else. Uh, Twelve. If I go... Well, she's still vulnerable. I'd rather get the damage in if I can. So she'll be dead next turn. Actually, we could have firepotted her. Which I probably should have done. But it's fine. Oh, and she was paralyzing us, too. Uh, a random card and it becomes free. Uh, <laughs> I like World 1. And then a defend became free. Unfortunate. Um, but it is part of it. You're going, yeah, we'll go question mark here. Child of the Galaxy. Again, nice art. You spot a small figure, a boy draped in the shining nebula and starry sky of the infinite galaxy. The boy approaches you, holding out a small bobble. Won't you be my friend? Uh, and we can do accept a random color relic or obtain an ego card. Uh, become cursed with decay. You know what? I'm gonna be nice to the guy. Boot. Uh, you accept the gift. The boy beams at you. It's my gift to celebrate our friend. Please treasure it. I'm fine with that. Another ego card would have been fun, but it's fine. Uh, crazed employees. Um, to the start, uh, around gain two strength and one vulnerability. Okay. Not attacking, so we should just... I mean, Whirlwind's a little less damage, I guess. So we'll do that and then Whirlwind here. Alright. I mean, they're both about dead. Trembling motion, so they gain strength and vulnerability. Okay. Free defend here is nice. Um, I feel like I could just kill them. Yeah. I wasn't, like, completely confident, but we did. Loses 9 HP and 4 block. Uh, I'd rather have a shrug, I think. Again, just to preface trying to remove defense. We have a bonfire, so there could be a toke. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a mimic. Oh, it wasn't. I just assumed. Just the way it sat on the floor. Um, I don't really need funnel. I'd rather have the sapphire key. Um, but -dum, dum Oh, I can't break them. Weird. Because usually you'd break them with the fire. I guess we'll just go for the smith. And as much as I want to upgrade this, I have to upgrade Whirlwind. It's like one of my favorite cards for the Ironclad. And now we just need to find, um, in the shop, the Chemical X. Street Light Office. She thought she hated him. He was annoying, arrogant, and an asshole. Oh, and an asshole who stole her sweets from the fridge. He was always bragging about how his mother was an amazing fixer and how he would one day surpass her with that fantasy sword he had received from her. Oh, fancy, not fantasy, fancy. Words are hard. And now he was gone. He would never know her again. He would never talk down to her, steal her food, or brag about his achievements to her ever again. He thought she'd be glad he was gone, but the hollowness of her heart proved wrong. It's not like you buy a cake for others. It, even if he had a had been a terrible person at times, he was still a person who had watched her back in battle and saved her on numerous occasions, and she had saved him in turn. But she failed him, and this time, now he was gone. Perhaps she should go back and try to reclaim his remains as reckless as that would be. I mean, yeah, I'm going to go fight the special enemy. Lula. Uh, so they pair mine. Gain two strength. Um, we're just going to open with some pain, I think. Yeah, I mean, vulnerability and then right into pummel. Seems like a good start. Alright, they gain two strength, doing ten damage. Early shrug. You're not hitting me. Boom. Ooh, they got a bat. Like it. 20 damage. Uh, whenever this creature deals, I'm gonna apply two burn. 
Woo! Coming after me. Oh, free defend here. Uh, very nice. Uh, they're still gonna hit me. 10 damage two times. Um, so I do want to get some more damage onto them. I can't fully block. Yeah, two burn and burn is take two damage at the end of your turn and remove all burn. Okay. Yeah, so it's damage per burn. They're getting more strength. Okay. Um. Yeah, bash sword boomerang. They're down to five. And then we kill them here. Watch out! Not too bad. Two fifty gold. Um. None of these. Uh, armament is good, but I don't think we need it currently. Oh, it's the shy guy. I, I know you. So it's three cards. So one, two, three. And then we'll do that still. So he can change to attack me. Oh my, he is creepy. One hit. Um, he's defending now, so I think we'll just do... Oh! What? We only played two cards. I don't really want to take 16. So we'll blow up the man. Grouch. Oh, block exhaustive, drop kick, and then he's vulnerable. I like the phantom shield. But I think I'll be good for now. Tempting, but... Alright. She's association. She association. The boardroom door opens with a slam. And two uniformed subordinates enter fatigued from a previous request. Director! We've been dealing with the urban nightmare class cases for ten consecutive days. We normally shouldn't be handling more than one case per week. We're on the brink of a breakdown, both physically and mentally. And most of all, our condition is... Looking worse than any of us, Director. Eugen? His words ring true. All of our inquiries have been severe to be healed up uh, in a manner of days. Or too severe to be healed up in a manner of days. Uh, yet the request kept piling up. We'll handle the library request like any other. We are headed there to just obey the superior's orders. Uh, the books they are also what we need to uncover. The blue reverberations plot. Yes. Um, but there isn't much time before the, before they, we head, isn't much time before the head of the south section grows suspicious on why we haven't acted. Special, okay, all right. Now it's special overexertion. How about with two additional names, get one for you to start of your second turn. That's fine. I like that. Uh, can we actually trust the director? Can you promise that, that there aren't going to harm yourself for the sake of section two? You've always been so self-sacrificing. This is the only chance we have, the only time we might be able to take advantage out of their request. Gather up the others who can still move and fight. Uh, we don't want to bring anyone who will only prove to be a burden there. Understood. Words are hard. Okay. Uh, so we have two next turn with that, but we have five energy this turn. Allows for a great setup turn, early damage, and then we'll take the weekend and fatigue the second turn. I do like it's the second turn, which is very nice um, for getting stuff done, and we're just going to finish them off here. Let's you get a lot of early setups. Ooh, and metallicize. I do like it so much. Let's try it. Okay, bonfire toke. No toke here. Um. I can rest and upgrade. I'd rather explore some more events. Path to the unknown. Before you stand a series of twisting, winding uh, paths, seemingly infinite, ever expanding towards the unknown. Your attention shifts to three pathways which tower above the rest. A steep central pathway with towers all above, a curved pathway to the left with jagged edges, a curved pathway to the right with smooth, refined shape. Ascend, encounter a random elite, and a random monster. Or I can have a random event. I mean, I'm going for the elite. Ooh, these sound scary. Uh, these are all around helper. Pattern recognition. Whenever the creature deals 10 unblocked damage to a single target, it removes all debuffs from itself. Okay. Alicize. Oh, they just hit very hard. I mean, I'm just going to lay into them to start with. Marga takes a size amount of damage here. Not too bad, though. Oh, and it telegraphs what they're doing next. So they gained a bunch of stuff. Ugh. How much damage is this? Uh, it's... 
14, 21. I can kill one of them, but then I'm going to take 20. I'll take a little bit less than that. I kind of like that. Get one of them off here. We'll block a little bit. Uh, block six. Ow. But we should be able to, like, easily wrap this up with the help of... Yeah. With the help of that. Pocket Polymer. Um, you can now transform cards as a free action. Eh. I don't think I've ever gotten it, but eh. Not really what we needed here. Um. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? Um. Also, the picture looks like a nice, like, butterfly girl. Um. What happened here? So this is the Fairy Queen, apparently. Um, and this is Fairy Mass and Fairy Mass. Uh, opening turn. Not that great. I am going to go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to drink this. Fire Potion is actually fairly nice. I could lay these guys out to start with. Take five. What do these do? Uh, at the end of round, this creature's HP is five or below. The boss consumes it. So I kind of want to kill him. Same thing here. And then, the creature creature's consuming it, it gains. This creature consumes their minion. It gains. One week and vulnerability. So you... Oh, so you kind of wanted to consume the minion? Weird. Don't get that. So th they should consume both these, right? Ow. Oh, am I dead? No. So they, yeah, they consume both of them. Now they're weak and vulnerable. So I should do like... That and this. Do they spend their time now bringing out more minions? They do, so it actually does not very much matter to do that. Uh, shrug. Do this. You're all weak now, which helps a lot. This is only seven damage. We have eight. I'm gonna pummel the back. Okay. So yeah, hitting the the masses don't matter. But their HP did go down. They're now 19. And yeah, it's 4 or below now. I don't really get... Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why am I bleeding? I wasn't expecting that. Whoops. Um, fire potion so I don't take more damage. I'm good now. And they're dead. So she should have to try and bring them back, probably. Yes. So we can bash... We can strike. Ah, oh, our seventh bullet. Ooh. Um, heal for 20%. That's fine. Get some more HP here. And yeah, that, now they're down to 18 HP. Again, kind of odd. Uh, this is 30 damage. Yeah. Kill them off, then they should have to try to bring them back. Oh, they're not. And... Defend. Or boomerang. I might could have killed them. Ugh. But they're at nine. I should be able to kill them right here, right? Yeah. No weird effects. Yeah, four one. Cool beans down to six, which kind of sucks. And we're not healing very much. Um, offerings. And grab bag's good. We'll grab two more things. Mustard crown's fine. And then you want to start your turn. Take two minutes for each energy beyond the 30 spin. No. Alright, whenever you attack a single enemy, other enemies cannot be targeted. Not really. Your turn has a different drawback for each character. I mean What's the drawback for me? What? <laughs> oh, two energy, one non-energy. Lose one energy. Okay. Ooh, an Idol of Retromation is pretty good. Burning Blood would be really good, though. But we haven't taken, or taken Idol of Retromation yet, so I'm going to do it. Uh, continue our, our ascent. See what the next one is. Rah! Okay. Uh, I like this question marks here. Elite, 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 elite. Four elite path. You know we're going for it. I'm, I, I cannot be stopped here. Oh my gosh, Sanguine Bats? Gross. Um, so this is the one the idol did. These things are not doing anything. Also, we start our first turn with so much energy. We need to draw. Like, we, we have three left there. 
and nothing to do with it. I think we, there's a lot of damage coming in. Offering first, seems like the first move here. Free defend, this is gonna help a lot. Uh, shrug, sword boomerang to kill some of them maybe? Yeah. Do I Metallus? I guess Metallus has eight plus 12 is 20 here. I can't kill anyone else, but defend, and then we'll strike this one. These bats hurt. I guess that's what they're good for, blood sucking. Yeah. I do like this cast in the background though, this uh, motif. Uh, whirlwind is 9 times 4 is 36, that should do it. If it does, a sword boomerang should help. Fire potion, abandon... no. Not what I want. Oh, are, are these all going to be, like, vampire related? Because this is Nosferatu. I don't know what that's from, but I know that name from something. Uh, opening Whirlwind here. Very good. We can use all of our energy. Uh, still gonna take seven here. And he heals from it. Rug. Offering. Ow. Um, defense. Sword Boomerang. Strike. 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 Metallicize. Uh, the downside I'm seeing right now is our 7th bullet is kind of going to be an issue because we're playing a lot of cards now. Uh, we are paralyzed for 2. There's a paralysis, now we can do the pummel, and they're dead. The boot there helped a lot. Uh, wild strike, I do not need. Alright. Oh, Mimic. Which sucks. <laughs> uh, metallicize. Bash here is great. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of coins here. Sucks. Uh, whirlwind for nine. And well, offering first. Or boomerang, and then I'll do it. Ow. Oh my gosh, so much treasure. Which usually you wouldn't complain about treasure, but this is gonna be ridiculous. Humble here is great. Oh my gosh. We have 21 cards in our draw pile. Oh, it's so much it's treasure. But he's he's down to 28. We can we can kill him. Uh maybe. Yeah, I gotta play all these. The two gold I guess will matter eventually. Or could matter. Yep. Yep, yep. Take 15 here. Oh I I could have fire potted. Uh I should have done that, but I forgot. Juju bracelet, very good. Uh war cry, I mm, Sure. That actually won't hurt. Uh, okay. The Dead Man's Ring. I always like to choose both relics. Got the curse. Ring of collection. Non-boss chest contain an additional ring relic in addition to the normal content. They will, shops will also sell rings. I like that one. At the start of combat, add a random curse to your discard pile. Each time you draw a curse, gain one energy and three temper HP. Each time you draw a status, gain three block. Hmm. I don't know if that's every every fight we're gonna get one curse or and it leaves at the end or if we add a curse every fight all right we got frozen eye but i don't know why i'm so confused on what the interaction here is okay uh, we are fighting scarecrows they are aggressive searching for wisdom whenever you receive unblocked damage from this creature exhaust the top card you drop out don't really want to do that Hit them. Let's offering here. We're down to 18. Ew. A war cry. Put the hallucinations on top of the draw pile for now. Uh, I could shrug, but we're going to draw it. Uh, metallicize. Defend. I will shrug. Uh, we drew it again. Oh, that means we gained more temporary HP. Not a synergy I was planning to use, but got a clash. Ow. And then, okay. 18 here. So what I'm going to do... First, get out of here. Uh, clash. Actually, good. Pummel. Strike. Okay, another Scarecrow dead. We're not gonna take anything because of Harvest. So we're good there. Uh, 54. Okay, we're good. Uh, I'm just going to... Yeah, Whirlwind is more. And then we Metallicize for three. We're gonna get out of this, but we're down to 15. Which is getting a little dicey. Wisdom. Draw card. Our exhaust this card stun. Stun this next turn. Interesting. Um, I'm just gonna whirlwind. Interesting mechanic. Uh, I don't need a strike from hell. 
Oh, we lost the frozen eye too. I don't know why we had that for a turn. I'm, I'm okay. I'm so confused. Allies. Some creatures and battles are allies. They will assist you. You can transfer your block to your allies by clicking the button next to intent. Okay, so I could number of times transfer five blocks from you to your allies. Okay. I like that. Uh, Hermite, Hermite Staff. Hermite of the Azure Forest. Okay. What if I do this? Is this oh, it's only going to hit them two, too. I mean, first... I feel like we just do this for nine. I mean, this is actually 16, though. So this should go first. Ow. Um, they're doing... 20-something to our friend. I mean, I'm just going to lay the damage in. Because I'm going to take not, not even nine. But I think if I can just kill them before they kill... Who's just 20 HP? It will... Use a powerful attack next turn against target. All, all other creatures. Against that targets all other creatures, including me. Okay, so if it takes 20, which it's about to, it'll change next turn. Can I give it any bl block? Uh, um. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a heavy blade here. Oh, gross. I mean. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him take it. And hope we can kill him from his erosion. So 20 to everyone, right? Oh, if it lose seven more. I guess it didn't count. It had some block. I don't know how that works exactly. Uh, I don't really want offerings here because if so, I will die. He's doing 30. He's doing 13 to my, my Boro. Let's give him six. Give him five. But that's still, if he loses seven, he's gonna lose eight. Okay. I'm just gonna have to do it. <laughs> I don't really know if giving him the one more would have mattered. So he's gonna attack everyone, right? Yes, 18 to everyone here. And I can't stop him, probably. So if we kill this man here, though. Oh, we, okay, the fight's over. I was like, if we kill him, this should be over, right? Iron Wave, I will take. I was getting scared for a second. Queen of Hatred. Oh, also, my deck. Has one hallucination in it. But it also, I just got a Bewilder added. Bewilder added to my deck. Um, you are doing damage to me. You do, whenever you play three attacks in a single turn, gain two weak. Play three skills and turn gain two for L. Okay. That sucks. One, two, I played two skills currently. If I play a third skill, I'm gonna get frailed. I don't want to take 21 though. Okay, I'm just gonna play more than that. Oh, and it keeps going. Nice. Uh, 12 here. And I'll do this. Get punched. So I should be taking... Oh, I'm down to three. Queen of Hatred, you are hateful. I am now vulnerable for a ton of turns, okay? Warcry. Um, honestly, put the hallucination back on top. Because I'll gain more temporary HP. Oh, I gained one energy there. From uh, Ring of Misfortune, which I misplayed. Uh, I think we can, should be fine here, right? Uh, 16. Oh, no, I'm not fine. I'm going to have 12. Uh, I, I, I'm going to counter. I, we might be both dead. Yeah, we're defeated here. They also died at the same time. A nap does sound good. This is cool, though. I'm excited to play more of it. Um, I wasn't expecting to win on the first try, um, but we did get through at least the first boss. There's cool mechanics. I like the allies. I really like the art style. It's very, very lively and very painterly, um, which I find very enjoyable. Uh, and I could tell they put a lot of work into the mod authors. Um, or auth author? I think it was only one. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button. Or if you want, you could subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.